I'm in Suriname, following up a lead that could explain the gruesome death of a young man, which is challenging what I thought I knew about piranhas. All right, let's see. OK. Hey, something went for that. Do you see that? But something went for it on the... Look, 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 right, right. This is very interesting. Catfish. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. One fish slashed in half by another in a lightning-fast attack. In the time that it took to bring that in, well, half of it's been taken. This has actually been bitten on the head as well, um, where, where there's bone, where it's harder tissue. I can see the signature here. I can see the semicircular bite marks, and you can actually even see the individual tooth marks here. So this is you know, a large fish, and it's just come in, and it's just been repeatedly biting. This went from being a perfectly healthy fish to being half devoured in a matter of seconds. It's just one thing that needs to happen, and it becomes a victim. Like Oscar, one minute happily swimming, dead the next. What could be responsible? I'm Jeremy Wayne. For more than 30 years, I've been investigating underwater mysteries. It's a fish! And uncovering nightmarish beasts. Ah! Ah! And now, I'm going back in time to find the ultimate of a monster. Half a billion years of evolution has seen a chilling array of deadly fish that were bigger, stranger, and more terrifying than anything in life today. For millions of years, the remains of these long-lost killers were locked in stone. But thanks to new technology, their lethal secrets are emerging like never before. It's amazingly clear that you've got upper jaw, lower jaw. And now that the door to the distant pass is inching further open, I have to go through. Incredible! But it won't be easy. I'll have to piece together clues from the fossils of long extinct killers and from today's top predators. There it is, there it is, there it is. The greatest that's ever. Myself on Something under the water tore his face off while leaving the rest of his body 